I don't mean to go on and on about this, <clears throat> but this is as much as an experiment to see in, in the state of the art, video on demand and all that stuff, uh, can we uh, do this for this amount of time and upload this, uh, you know, to, um, to these websites and how do they make money? I guess with ads, <clears throat> stuff like that, or people buy the premium. I'm pretty good at working with freeware, but I buy software, okay? I buy software. <laughs> occasionally, occasionally. I try to spend less than $200 a year on software, put it that way. <coughs> All right, so um, here we go. We have an A shaped, um, and this is going to be our A shape. The root is the A right there, so where, you know, whatever A you want to play. Say I'm going to play an A shape C, so this is it. All right, starting on the fifth, because remember, if you play an A down here on uh, open A on your guitar, the E becomes the fifth of that A. Okay, so here the G becomes the fifth of that A. That uh, a shaped C. So we're going to play the pentatonic. shaped like an A if you look at it if you look at it like this you know it's shaped like an A if I play it like this all right <clears throat> shaped like a shape like a sideways A so um, to play a G minor shaped six minor key of it, uh, C would be an A minor starting from the six it goes six root three six root three six now let's just take it down in a pentatonic so we've got the six five okay I can't I only have two hands but six five three two root six all right so we've got the six the three, the root and the six, the third, the root, the sixth. So there you go. The, uh, the minor arpeggio, including the other notes, the arpeggio from the, the, the cage next door. <coughs> Where's the arpeggio from the cage next door? Okay, we've got six, three here. Okay, so we got... Uh, six to three down here is a perfect fourth all right it could be up there then we go to root there but that was warped over right see this is a repeat because because they have overlapping so this is the same situation right there it's just going into the other cage because these guys are shared the a shape shares its root chords and all its notes in this fret with the G shape, okay, and you're gonna bar. That's why the A has this big kind of bar kind of look. It's got a mini bar there. You're practically barring because when you're going to the G shape, you're practically barring that again. I've spoken about that. Okay, so the G shape pentatonic, and then the E minor shape sixth is going to be this guy. See, I could do that by inspection because I know it's E minor shape, but people know less about to do the arpeggio. Now, one thing I want to say about the arpeggio, um, these are arpeggios. Even though they're not going diagonally, so let's let's go straight up our our chart right here. Now we know where we are. Okay, so for the uh, what was it, the sixth that we're doing, we're doing e, an E minor shape sixth. So remember, the six has six root and three of the pen, 
the parent scale. So here's the E minor shape right here. Okay? <clears throat> what I'm saying is, if we extrapolate this third to this root, it's in the next cage over. And so that is certainly the arpeggio. Root 3 and then to 6. So it would be root 3 and then to 6. Again, we're doing an A minor. That's second. That's first inversion. And then 3, 6 to root. That's second inversion. <clears throat> but what I wanted to tell you is that <clears throat> in any one cage, that arpeggio, the complete arpeggio is there. Uh, it may start on a, on a different member. So it would be 6, 6, three, uh, six root 3. Now we don't cross a string there. We stay on the same string in that cage. That's what I'm saying. So you can do that arpeggio just by doing intervals that way. You know what an arp you know, as long as you know where you're starting. Okay, so over here, uh, sure, this is an easy, an easy E minor shaped uh, A minor because we all know what that is. So you're in the G shape no matter what. Say you're doing it uh, a G shape C here. And you're going to do this. That's an A minor. All right. But it's important to realize that starting from the sixth there, which is the A minor, you, you're not always going to have a chord to play, is what I'm saying. So you play the C minor, you're not always going to get root right there because that root isn't there. It's it's a minor third up, so you can play the arpeggio. Okay, so you can always do the arpeggio in the cages, and that arpeggio fits into that pentatonic scale. So it's... I'll play the, I'll double the arpeggio ones. Okay, that kind of thing. That was kind of awkward for me, but, um, so let's see if we could uh, finish off with uh, just the um, just our okay. I can bring it up this this way. Come on up. It's not. It doesn't want to come up. It doesn't want to come up. So we'll have to focus in on it with the Andy here. All right. <coughs> um, so. This would be, you know, that's, we'll play this some more. We'll, we'll be using this one. It's because it's used so much in music. So that would be the E-shaped F right there. And then you could do a, a, a um, E pentatonic at that point. stop somewhere you know along the way you don't have to, you're not going to have time to fit the whole thing in unless, unless that's what you want to do you know so you go I, I added in a little bit of diatonic there it's easier for me to just go you know to do it without the capo so you go Okay, so since we were running out of time, instead of going, doing that S3S yes up there, I just went, all right, because it's got to all fit in. So we'll cover this subject more in detail in the next lesson.